Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Try now to close your eyes as an experience, just to listen to the music and to remember the words of Jesus, I am the bread of life, coming down from heaven, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have everlasting life. Many parents and catechists and teachers say that children are not able to be silent. They like noise. Is it totally true? I like that we can just sit there and just be quiet and talk to God silently without anybody else hearing us. I thought children love noise, not silence. What about you? Um, I do a lot of times, but when you're in church, you just want to feel silent because you like have a moment with God, and you don't have that with other times. They seem to really enjoy that quiet time. They get away from their classes, and they just have that time to be alone with Christ in the Eucharist. I think they enjoy that. I like silence because, like I said, you could spend one-on-one -on -one time with them, and it's just like a silent room where you can just concentrate on like what your problems are. I think everybody needs some alone time with God, and Mass, here with everybody, and that's great, but sometimes you just need one-on-one -on -one with God. I like it that you can just, you don't have to say anything, you just sit there and you can just talk to God however you feel like it. St. Augustine said, Christ held himself in his hand when he gave his body to his disciples, saying, This is my body. No one partakes of this flesh before he has adored it. Open up your heart to Him Let the stillness grow within Jesus loves you very much Feel His gentle touch We need to obey the angel of Fatima and teach our children the beautiful prayers and meaningful prayer he taught them. We remember that the angel appeared to Lucia, Francisco and Jacinta. He had in his hands a chalice and above the chalice a bleeding host and then he left the chalice and the host suspended in the air. He came close to the children, prostrated on the ground himself and prayed. Oh my God! I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I beg pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. He said this prayer three times. Many people think to please me, they must pray differently from the way my little children pray. My dear people, how it pleases me, the prayer of a child from the heart so peacefully. Simple prayers, simple words, simple ways. Simple prayers, simple words, simple ways. St. Faustina said, I recall that I have received most light during adoration, which I made lying prostrate before the Blessed Sacrament for half an hour every day throughout Lent. During that time, I came to know myself and God more profoundly. We adore using our whole body. We not only genuflect, 
we not only kneel, but we can also manifest our respect toward God by prostrating ourselves. Some people are surprised to see children prostrating themselves before Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Is this a new gesture of respect that just appeared in the Catholic Church and in the world? When you are in the pews, we have only one way of praying at Mass. When we adore, it's like this. But when you think about it, we need to pray not only with our spirit, but with our body, because the body is part of the human person. And we offer to God all what we are. Why did Moses and Aaron and Abraham before him bow all the way? You remember when Moses was on the mountain and from the burning bush a voice came, Moses, Moses! And Moses was a little bit surprised that day. What did Moses do? He bowed in adoration. When we are in this position and then we go down, 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 look at the size of my body. You cannot be smaller before God. Brother and I, we have spent thousands of hours on our knees like this, every day, two hours, morning, afternoon, in front of Jesus. But you see, it's nothing compared to what Jesus endured for three hours. Let's listen to St. Thomas Aquinas. He said, When we genuflect, we signify our weakness in comparison with God. And when we prostrate ourselves, we profess that we are nothing of ourselves. Our God has humbled himself to come down in the flesh and be with us in this blessed sacrament. We must do our part to show him that we love and respect this awesome gift. It is time to teach young people that fundamental attitude of respect for God. How awesome is this place? How awesome is this place? This is truly the house of God. This indeed is heaven's gate. Oh, come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture. Kneeling down in front of the Eucharist makes us feel a little bit closer to Jesus, just like St. Teresa, how she loved, you know, to be closer and kneeling down, feeling like a child. For me, I think one of the most special parts of children's adoration is just to see them learn to control their body, to be still, to come before the Lord. And as they learn to just control their body and to be still, uh, the Lord can speak to them in their hearts and they can enter into the prayer at the moment and they can truly appreciate what is good and beautiful and noble 